introduction to the craft beer scene. They're light on the palate. And my guest today is Richard Hartox. Welcome, Richard. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about wheat beers and your experience. Well, in my experience, wheat beers were kind of the gateway beer into the craft beer scene. The lower alcohol content, not as bitter as pale ales or IPAs for sure. And sometimes they can be made with fruit components, which can be easier to get into for people who are used to drinking the yellow fizzy stuff. Right. So today we're drinking a Jolly Pumpkin Weizenbam farmhouse wheat beer. What are your thoughts on this beer? Well, my thoughts are, it's, aside from being very good, it's uh, not your typical wheat beer that you're going to find sitting on your shelves. Mm -hmm. So it's a real treat to have, a specialty, almost a sour hint of sour flavor too, which is another style of beer. Yep. And this one looks like it was aged in an oak barrel. What does oak barrel aging do for a beer? It adds flavoring to um, to beers. I guess with just oak or sometimes cedar, sometimes it adds a, a woodsy, sometimes a drying flavor. Sometimes you'll have bourbon barrels, which add a lot of sweetness to it, mm -hmm. which wouldn't really work well with a wheat beer. Any uh, wheat beers you recommend just off the top of your head? Um, in the summer, there's this one uh, from Bell's Brewery in Michigan, Oberon. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. Yeah, it's made with uh, a lot of oranges, and people just go to town on it in the warm weather. Okay. Um, other than that, this is a, th this one, I can never pronounce the name. I think it's Weissefenar? Definitely. I'll accept that. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> but, a, it's a tongue twister. Right. It's, it's from Germany, the home of Heffenweizen, obviously. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to want a, a very good wheat beer, Heffenweizen, that's two style, I would definitely go with this. Mm. All right. Great. A couple of uh, non-craft beers out there people might confuse, but still are good intro beers. I'm thinking like Blue Moon, the Shock Tops, not true craft beer. Tell us why. Well, for one, they're, they're made by the big guys, uh, AB and Bev, or Miller Coors. Mm -hmm. And the, for one, the production output far exceeds the craft beer. What determines you as a craft brewer is how you're owned, how many barrels you make. I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the use of adjuncts. Yes. Still good beers, but not necessarily craft beers. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us with our craft beer tasting, and right. cheers. Thanks for having me. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the show. For more information on Beerhead, please visit us online at meetup.com. Search Beerhead. Thanks.